seemed like yesterday in a long jump uh, event you were a little frustrated, but today that ended up being an event you finished first. Yeah. Um, was there stuff that you learned from yesterday that translated to you being successful? Can you speak on that? Yeah, so for long jump, it's about your approach. Yesterday, my approach was kind of off. I didn't feel as fast as I should have in the beginning of my runway. So today, I just put my all into the beginning of the runway so then I could finish and jump farther. Mm -hmm. How were you able to have such endurance to get through all of these events? A lot of them are grueling events, 800, the shot put, long jump, high jump, 60 meter hurdles. How were you able to have the stamina to compete at a high level? Um, it's, I feel like it's a mind game. As long as you're tough-minded, I think you could get it done. So you have to trust your coaches and then trust yourself as well. Uh, hey, third place at the MEAC Championships. It's only indoors. It's only the halfway point of the season. Um, I'm really thinking um, that she'll do very well outdoors in the Maltese, as well as some of our younger ones like Kiari Hamid. And uh, we're going to move Henri and McCaskill in that area as well. In third place from Delaware State, Precious Iguavique. Um, it felt good. I plan on getting first place today, but that didn't happen. But it was still nice to get on the podium. That's six big points for the team. We're approaching double digits, which is awesome. Coach Gadsden, Coach T, uh, him and I talk frequently, and we always uh, talk about the fact that we know Precious can win these Maltese. Um, she came up a little bit short today. She gut checked that 800 at the end. I'm proud of her. I actually did PR in the 800, so I'm proud of myself for doing that, and I'll catch them outdoor. Thank you. <laughs> you know, what I'm trying to get everybody to do is have the expectations to win. Like, forget about who's here, forget about who we're against, forget about who you're against, forget about teams, rankings, whatever. Always have the mentality that you're going to win. Well, you know, the best race of the day for us is, uh, Kiari Hamid, the freshman, she ran the hurdle race. She had a big PR. She came in. Um, not we weren't really expecting her to, to, to make finals or anything. We wanted to get her experience. Again, it's a top five league. I think in sprints right now, the MEAC is the number two league in sprints in the country right behind the SEC. Um, it's going to take a minute. Um, it's going to take... Uh, good crop of uh, uh, freshmen to come in next year and then put another good class behind that. Um, you know, it, it takes getting that special athlete there and they do something special on the big stage and then other people want to come. Um, we'll get there, there's no doubt about it.